when your presentation is polished and classy, it does the talking for you. You don't have to prove yourself or explain yourself as much. People just assume the best about you. Hi ladies, welcome or welcome back to the feminine universe. I am so happy to have you here. Whenever we enter a new phase or a new chapter in our journey, it's normal to want to continue to improve and enhance our look as well. And developing and maintaining that classy appearance is one of the top requests in this category. With good reason, looking classy can make you feel elegant, regal, and capable. It also makes others see you that way as well. But contrary to what many people think, a classy appearance isn't all about high-priced items and designer labels. Ultimately, it's about cultivating a look that says, I take pride in myself and everything I do, and that includes my appearance. Now hear me well, before we dive all the way in on this topic, I'm not saying anyone has to dress this way or put themselves together this way. If you prefer to be trendy or sporty or casual or hot girl baddie, please carry on. This is just how to look classy if you want to. Or maybe if there's a particular day or occasion when you feel like looking classy and channeling that classy energy, you can just tap into this at those particular times. Now that that's been said, let's get started. So what does it take to look classy? Firstly, it takes a mindset shift where you're not just thinking about your outfit, but thinking about your overall presentation. Because I know we've all seen someone in chic or designer clothing who somehow still didn't come across as classy. Our presentation is made up of four main things that I really want to break down and discuss in some ways that are familiar and in some ways that we may not always think about. So those four main things that make up your presentation are how you're dressed, how you're groomed, how you carry yourself, and how you speak. So let's start with how you're dressed. This encompasses what you literally wear, the clothing and accessories that you choose to put on. In my Find Your Style video, I covered elegant style and classic style in depth and we talked about some of the must-have classic pieces. A classy wardrobe will have a lot of these classic timeless pieces. Things like a little black dress, a sleek blazer, a crisp white button down, quality denim, a good handbag, stylish pumps, elegant flats, and so on. Another thing about a classy appearance is that you'll tend to see a lot of solid colors, especially neutrals, because they look good with everything and on pretty much everyone. It's very hard to go wrong with a closet full of neutrals. So when cultivating your classy appearance, solid should be at the top of the list. Prints and excessive detailing will really expose an inexpensive item in a second. And even a well-done, high-priced print can sometimes create a very busy or overwhelming appearance or can just easily clash with something else that you have on. In contrast, a classy appearance is about your clothing complementing you. Prints can absolutely be well done, it's just easier to go wrong, whereas neutrals are more of a no-brainer. Ultimately, it should be about you wearing the clothes, not the clothes wearing you. And to debunk another popular misconception, looking classy doesn't always mean being super dressed up. We are not wearing ball gowns to barbecues and cookouts. Though I always advise looking about 25% better than the occasion requires, there are absolutely more casual looks that are perfectly classy. Though a casual look can be classy, a classy appearance is usually not going to be super trendy. Why? Because aside from remaining timeless, the classy look is about taking the time to find out what looks best on you and your body and your coloring. And the latest trend just might not be the thing that's most complimentary to you. That doesn't mean you can't rotate in some trends that you really enjoy, but it will be because you really like them and they flatter you, not just because they're popular. 
Also, you want to implement a proper fit, not the items that look like you're wearing your older brother's hand-me-downs or squeezing into your baby sister's clothing. A tailor makes all of the difference in a classy appearance and can make inexpensive items look custom made. The classy appearance is not particularly risque either. A basic synonym for class is tastefulness and it's just not tasteful to have everything hanging out. Your accessories for your classy look will probably be neat and minimal for the most part. We're thinking diamond studs or your pearls, dainty gold jewelry, a simple structured handbag, a nice watch, those sorts of things. Generally speaking, you'll notice that people who are considered to be classy or have a classy appearance don't wear anything too flashy, too over the top, or too gaudy. A, because it doesn't look good to just have a million things going on at once. B, because as a classy person, you have nothing to prove. Class tends to be associated with wealth or at least having comfort with the finer things. And when you've grown up around certain things or you've always had exposure to certain things, you're not going to feel the need to be covered in brands and logos like you've never had anything nice before. Excessive stunting or flexing or showing off is just a very nouveau riche thing to do. Usually the people who are obsessive about doing this, access to these kind of things is very new to them. They're feeling cool, they're thinking, look what I can now afford, and they want everyone to know about it. Whereas when you've always had it, you're not going to move that way. And C, even if you have it like that and you've always had it like that, it's just very distasteful to flaunt your wealth in an obscene way. Even as children, there comes a certain age where screaming, look at my new toy at the top of your lungs, becomes unacceptable. You outgrow that at some point. This isn't to say not to invest in high quality and designer items. I personally love a good handbag. Some of these items and brands have a rich history, are really well made, and can usually be passed down if cared for. It's just about not being excessively branded and logoed and looking like a walking billboard from head to toe. Keep it tasteful. The next part of your presentation is how you are groomed. This has more to do with how you maintain yourself. It's about your hair, your skin, teeth, nails, the way you smell, and those kind of things. It's also about how you maintain your items. Does your physical appearance radiate health and regular self-care? Do your bags and shoes look well-kept or worn to death? Is your clothing freshly pressed and steamed or is it wrinkly and unkempt? Designer does not make up for poor hygiene and poor upkeep. Grooming is about how you maintain yourself and how you maintain your belongings. Remember we covered having a self-maintenance schedule in the always look pretty and polished video. When it comes to your grooming, another good rule of thumb is that less is more. Too much of anything or anything too overdone just doesn't give a classy vibe. Colorful hair, extremely long hair extensions, nails, or lashes, too much makeup, too much self-tanner or lip filler, ridiculously high heels. You get the picture, right? Now, these things can totally be statement-making. They can be a trendy form of self-expression or whatever else, but it's just not what would universally be described as classy. Class requires some restraint. Not every whim that crosses our mind needs to be executed. If being over the top is your thing, by all means, carry on. But if you're going for classy, try not to do anything in excess. The next part of your presentation is how you carry yourself. How you walk into a space can say, I don't think I deserve to be here or I own this room. I'm not used to getting respect, or I'm kind of a big deal. Your posture speaks volumes, your walk, your ability to make natural eye contact, 
whether your gestures are awkward and nervous or poised and relaxed even if you chew with your mouth open or if you seem like you have some etiquette if you don't come from a family or lifestyle where all these things were taught from a young age then you may have to learn or teach yourself certain things as you get older and there's no shame in that i have a couple of etiquette videos that can help get you started that i will link below i emphasize how you carry yourself because you can be wearing the most chic expensive outfit but if you don't feel worthy and deserving on the inside or if you're so unrefined or vulgar that it's actually offensive those things will always undermine anything you have going on on the outside lastly in the presentation category is how you speak again like it or not this is another dead giveaway now this is not literally tied to our appearance but it's so closely attached that i figured i'd include it here because if someone is intrigued by your presence or makes positive assumptions about you based on your presentation they'll probably want to talk to you and the way you answer or speak in general will either confirm the good things they thought or make them think yikes I was totally wrong. The way you speak says a lot about you and in some instances, it can totally cancel out a classy appearance. The best way I can advise on this without ruffling too many feathers is to do your best to continue listening and learning regardless of your formal schooling or where you grew up. And also use the right language in the right situations. Relaxed, casual speech, slang, and so on is perfectly fine with friends and family, but in social and especially professional interactions, it's best that your speech matches the occasion. Also be conscious of volume. Speaking very loudly and borderline screaming in more quiet, intimate settings is really off-putting. Swearing also, in general, off-putting and even more so in polite or professional company. None of it leaves you looking particularly classy, so always be mindful of how you speak. Ultimately, classy people have a realistic view of the world. They know that you'll be perceived and treated a certain way based on how you present yourself. When your presentation is polished and classy, it does the talking for you. You don't have to prove yourself or explain yourself half as much. People just assume the best about you. And who wouldn't want that? Hope you enjoyed this take on how to look classy and present yourself in a classy way overall. Until next time, ladies, stay feminine, stay focused and have fun.